The following interview was conducted with Donna Lester, Executive Secretary for Ag Alumni Association for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Friday, April 22, 2011, in, on campus in the Fendler uh, Conference Room. The interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the Oral History Librarian. Welcome, Donna. Good morning. Thank you. And a pleasure. Uh, let's start out. Tell us where and when you were born and your parents and early well, years. Well, I'm, I'm a Georgia native. Uh, I was born and uh, raised in a little town called Cedartown, Georgia, which is in northwest Georgia, about 20 miles south of Rome, about 75 miles northwest of Atlanta. Uh, grew up there, went to school, um, got involved in the 4-H project, which is really a uh, a major stepping stone to my career was getting involved in the 4-H project. I was involved in uh, livestock projects. My family did not live on a farm. We bought a little place in the country where I had my livestock projects. And when I was in high school, my family then moved to that, uh, to that little farm. But I had mostly pigs, raised uh, feeder pigs, and over the course of raising those feeder pigs, I developed a little enterprise where I have made money of, that went into the bank to pay for college. And the good thing about that was 4-H gave me a lot of life lessons, and uh, it also paid for six years of college. How did, uh, they, how did that come about? The, your, the income from the, the income project? from from selling those feeder pigs primarily. Now, uh, you know, all of the income from from my hogs went in there, but. Primarily what I would do, I had sows that I would raise the pigs to weaning and then sell them to people that were going to feed them out. One year I had an interesting experience that hog prices were so low, nobody wanted pigs, couldn't give them away, really, really could not give them away. And so my dad said, well, you know, there's nothing to do. You're going to have to feed them out. And I said, well, how do I do that? We didn't have a facility to do this or anything. He said, well, I'll help you. Well, yeah, he's my dad. I knew he would. And but how he helped me was really interesting. I wasn't old enough to drive yet. He drove me down to the local feed mill. I went in by myself, and I negotiated with the owner of the feed mill. I told him what my problem was, and I negotiated to buy a feeder and all of my feed on credit until I sold my hogs. So before I could drive, I had, uh, had credit, had a good credit rating because paid my paid my debt back uh, when the when I sold the pigs. Hog prices were still low. I fed them out that summer. It was the, my summer litter that uh, my spring litter that I had to feed out. So I fed them out over the summer months, which worked out well, and sold them in the fall. Hogs were selling for eighteen dollars a hundred weight, which was dirt cheap. I still made money because I didn't have anything invested but a few strands of. of, of electric wire and a feeder and sure. my dad had cut a couple of uh, 55 gallon barrels in half and we'd made some water troughs for them and it was a really great lesson but 4-H really gave me that foundation for dealing with challenges in life well, with lots of life experiences I sold my pigs when I got ready to go to college I went my first year of college to Berry College uh, in uh, Mount Berry, Georgia, which is just north of Rome. I commuted that first year. As I graduated from Cedartown High School, and I thought a high school of 1,200 people was small, and I wasn't quite ready to go to the University of Georgia, although I knew that was where I wanted to go. I, that's where I wanted my degree to come from. I was interested in animal sciences, of course, with the 4-H background. Went to Barry, had plans to stay there for two years, but because of the way that I needed classes and the way that they offered uh, some of the, the essential coursework, I couldn't get all that I needed. I was going to lose credits if I stayed two years, and I thought, well, that's, that's silly. Not transfer. Okay. So I transferred uh, after my freshman year to the University of Georgia, didn't lose any credits, everything, because I knew what I was doing. I had looked at the course catalog, and so I was ready. Went to the University of Georgia, spent the next three years there getting my bachelor's degree in animal science. I had plans when I first went there. I thought I was going to go to vet school, but I think that's like a lot of small-town kids. You like animals, but in the only professional vocation you know is the veterinarian uh, that deals with animals. And so I went to college and saw lots of other things that, that interested me. Finished up uh, my bachelor's degree. One of the greatest experiences I had during that time was being on the livestock judging team. 
I was on the 1980 livestock judging team from the University of Georgia and competed all over the country and had some great experiences, met lots of people uh, who I would come to know in my later life, uh, lots of people that I still uh, work with and come in contact with people here at Purdue who were on the team at that time from Purdue or uh, involved in coaching it. Um, people from all over the country from other universities that I met and have now had professional relationships with. So it was a really great experience. Uh, learned a lot. Got to go places. I had never traveled any. Uh, you know, as a child, our big vacations were going to Florida or to the Smoky Mountains. You know, that was really a, about the only sure. family vacations. People back, you know, in the 1960s, uh, you'd, travel was...